Hello everyone, Slime Training here, and today I'll be going over my recap for this month of March 2021. So in the month of March, I made a total of um, $779 and with a average winning of 113, losing trade as uh, $68. So I was keeping that roughly at a two to one ratio and I'm only profitable 52% of the time, or my winning trades. And uh, in the long run, if you keep your risk management in check, you'll eventually come out a uh, profit in the end. So let's compare to the, let's compare to the beginning of this year in January and February. Uh, and let's go here. And you can see that in the month of January, I made a total of 9,000. February 8,000 and March of 6,600, 700. So you're definitely um, slowing down the market is affecting the trading or opportunities. Uh, but as long as you stay consistent, um, once the market picks back up, you shouldn't have a problem. So in the month of January, I had one red day, February one red day, and this month had two red days. So up inside here and and my, my biggest loss day was uh, $462 in this day of, on the 17th. And a couple of days ago, I took uh, another red day there of negative $154. So, and then let's compare a breakdown of last month versus this month. So on the left here is last month and let's go check on the long side first. So on the long side, you can see the difference between uh, this month on the right uh, is orange, on the left is last month, February. You can see on the long side, wasn't able to get any long setups or opportunities uh, versus a uh, month of February, which most of my profit came from the long side. And you can see the percentage is also gone down on the long side for this month. And that's because the market condition has shifted and more, uh, I guess, newer traders have shifted out of the market. Um, and then let's compare it to the short side. And on the short side, now you can see that on Feb uh, on this month, pretty much 95% of my profit was on the short side versus uh, maybe 20% of my profit was on the short side. So definitely a shift in market and we need to be able to identify those shifts in market condition and change your bias as necessary. Um, so let's see if there's any more breakdown I can share here. So in terms of day and time, um, let's change this to just this month. So this month, I, you can see that uh, I try to avoid the first you know, few 30 minutes of trading hours, and that's where there's most volatility and mostly where patterns aren't fully set up yet. So because I'm more of a technical pattern trader, I don't really want to look at stocks that are just chopping around or uh, chasers market in the first 30 minutes due to high volatility. Um, and then also, if you look at the market conditions, uh, roughly profit in you know all realms of the overall market, uh, even though it's negative on the day or positive on the day, I'm still opened or I'm still profitable there. Um, let's see what else we can show here. So this is the curve for this month. Uh, definitely a consistent uptrend of this month, but I'm trying to size up a little bit more uh, for next month and hopefully I'm able to do that for um, yeah for next month given if it gives me the opportunity to do so. For my winning days and losing days, I'm 91% uh, winning days, uh, only two, two losing days this month. So 91% winning days there. And with my winning days, I am, uh, let's see, my winning days, I have, yeah, almost a two to one here. My losses, kind of the opposite on losing days. 
um but yeah this doesn't really show a lot since i don't have a lot of data points it's just two day two days there on the last um but yeah all in all um this month 677.9 uh profit there um definitely slower in between uh, this month and last month and january but trying to keep my uh, consistency and keep up with the market um so i think oh okay so i could show my largest gain here it was gnus so gnus was a 725 dollar win and you can see during this on this five minute chart there's a breakout here i bought on that breakout and pretty much sold in each of these push and then that was for a 725 dollar win on gnus my biggest loss was T on TNXP. So TNXP, um, I have a, another recap video called Consequence of Being Early. And this is where I bought early and then got stopped out, bought early, got stopped out, bought early, got stopped out. So it was three, three losses there for a total of like uh, $500 here, which was my biggest uh, losing, uh, biggest loss for this month. Um, but all in all, um up a total six hundred seven seven nine for this month and I like to remind everyone that these are the two strategies that i trade day in and out so if you enjoy this content or would like to see me trade live make sure to hit the subscribe button and i trade try to trade each morning at around 6 45 or so um, and be sure to follow my twitter or join the community in my discord link below um still building a community there and uh share ideas so yeah i'd like to thank everyone for watching if you enjoy the content be sure to hit the like and subscribe button thank you see you guys next month happy trading bye